The Navy is taking a risk by trying to get rid of $3.6 billion worth of troubled ships. The defect in the propulsion system gear of Navy vessels has been the source of many problems. So the Navy has decided to take the step. In today's video, we will get to know which of the ships is going to be decommissioned by the U.S. Navy as a part of the fiscal year 2023 budget. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and let's begin. The U.S. Navy has said that it wants to take 24 ships out of service to save $3.6 billion and build up its fleet in the future. The news came as part of the budget proposal for fiscal year 2023 from the Department of Defense. The Biden-Harris administration sent Congress a proposed budget for national defense for the fiscal year 2023 on March 28. It was for $813.3 billion, of which $773 billion was for the Department of Defense. This is an increase of $30.7 billion, or 4.1% over what was planned for the fiscal year 2022. According to the statement, the budget for FY23 allows the Department of Defense to develop, buy, and update capabilities to ensure combat-ready forces in all domains to deal with the PACE challenge from the People's Republic of China and to deal with acute threats from Russia. Under the new plan, the Navy would buy nine warships. These would include two attack submarines from the Virginia class, two destroyers from the Arleigh Burke class, one frigate from the Constellation class, one amphibious assault ship from the America class, one amphibious transport dock from the San Antonio class, one fleet oiler from the John Lewis class, and one towing, salvage, and rescue ship. The Ford class carrier program, which is part of the surface ship portfolio, also wants $2.5 billion for CVN 80 and 81. The Navy also asked for two more ship-to-shore connectors and $618 million to pay for a complex refueling overhaul of the Harry S. Truman. According to the statement, other significant investments made by the Navy in weapons and platforms include additions to hypersonic weapons via conventional prompt strike and standard missile, both strike fighter versions, and many classified programs. The document also shows that the Navy wants to get rid of 24 ships. Rear Admiral John Gumbleton, who is the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Budget for the U.S. Navy, says that the total value of the chance to reinvest is $3.6 billion for the fiscal year budget plan. The ships that are scheduled to be decommissioned include two oilers, two expeditionary transfer docks, four amphibious dock naval vessels, two attack submarines, nine Freedom variant littoral combat ships, and five Ticonderoga-class cruisers. But Congress would have to give the Navy a waiver for 16 units that haven't reached their end-of-service date yet. Gumbleton said this about the decommissioning of the Freedom variant LCS. As we look at LCS as a whole, this is one area where we've seen that there are real costs, especially for the Freedom class, to be able to make a few of the repairs that are needed on those as we weigh that against what makes the best contribution to the capabilities we need. He also said, this is about the value of lost opportunities. That ASW mission ended. In this budget request, we're buying a fourth of a line of frigates, which will take over the ASW mission and give us the chance to reinvest $1.8 billion. In the end, it was emphasized that the military programs have driven program reforms and gotten rid of vulnerable systems and programs that no longer meet mission needs. This has allowed the DOD to realign spending to support the future fleet. Also, if you don't know, the United States Navy's first littoral combat ship, or LCS, the USS Freedom, retired from active duty in September of the previous year following a distinguished career of 13 years. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.